after a long day of adulting, all you can think about is being reunited with your bed and your precious Chocho. -cho. It has accompanied you for years and you never stop to wonder why. Till you come across an article titled, 50% of Singaporean teenagers still sleep with a Chocho. -cho. The bond between the owner and Chocho -cho is so strong that not even sensationalized news can break it. In 2018, a Facebook post about a mushroom infested Bantal Busok went viral. Despite the health and safety warnings, it was dismissed as an anomaly and Chocho -cho still remained as almost everyone's BFF. But what makes Chocho -cho so special to so many people? WikiSG uncovers the science behind your addiction to this smelly, lovable pillow. Theory number one Your brain thinks that your Chocho -cho is your childhood. The Chocho -cho is not your average pillow. Its superpower lies in its smell that's unique to every owner. A smell that has the ability to trigger nostalgic memories and emotions. This is called the Proust Phenomenon. To understand why this happens, let's look at the blueprint of your brain. The amygdala and hippocampus, which controls emotions and memories, are located near the olfactory bulb, the part of your brain that detects smells. Basically, your entire childhood is condensed into the smell of your chocho. -cho. It's scientifically proven that older cute memories are from the first decade of your life. This is why we just can't throw our chochos away. They remind us of a simpler time where we didn't have to worry about taxes, relationship problems, or wondering if you have enough for your BTO. That brings us to theory number two. Your chocho helped with your development as an infant. Chochos are essential to our development from a child to an adult. Let's backtrack when you were fresh out of the womb. The world is a wild and scary place for a newborn. In fact, for the first six months, infants don't actually know clearly who are humans. They rely on transitional objects to ease them into independence. This period of literal self-discovery is called the developmental phase. Enter the chochos and bantal busoks. Babies love them because they have characteristics that remind children of their own mothers. Soft, warm, and gentle. In Singapore, traditional chochos are filled with dried bean sprout husks for adult comfort. Unlike cotton or feathers, dried bean sprout husks give that added flexibility to the chocho, allowing it to mold itself to the shape of the baby. To the baby, the pressure feels like their mother's hand, which grants them a sense of security. Basically, Chocho -cho serve as a mom substitute for infants who are learning to be the independent boss baby who don't need no mom. But let's be real here, even the toughest adults still miss their mothers and Chocho -cho will always be the perfect side babe. With all this psychological backing, it's justified to say that the bond we have with our Chocho -cho is a healthy attachment that stems from our natural human instincts. In fact, owning a smelly childhood object is actually a thing across the globe. The Angmor equivalent of Chocho -cho is called Blanky, which is a security blanket for babies. So there's really no shame in being a proud Chocho -cho owner. It's part of who you are and you should own it.